Welcome to the video where we will see concurrent constructs in VHDL. Inside the architecture of any VHDL program, we have seen that we can write number of statements which are concurrent statements in the architecture. Now since we are describing a hardware inside the VHDL program and the nature of the hardware is actually having parallel activities, it is essential that VHDL statements are also representing the parallel activities and hence unlike any other programming language VHDL or rather any hardware description language actually has number of concurrent statements. The meaning of concurrent statements means uh, they can be placed in any sequence however will have the same effect. A simple assignment statement which we have already used in a half adder uh, are also concurrent statements. For example, the nature of the simple assignment statement is the left hand side of the assignment operator will be either something which is defined as an output or a signal whereas the right hand side of the assignment operator in the statement will either be an expression containing signals or inputs, it could be a complex expression as well or it may be simply a value to be assigned to the signal or the output. For example, we have defined this as sum is assigned a value of A XOR with B. This is an expression uh, combining two input variables A and B. Whereas another statement which says Y is assigned a value 0, 1, 1, 0 where it is inherent that y must be defined as an array and hence an array of bits is being assigned to y. So this is about a simple assignment statement which is also a concurrent statement. Now these concurrent statements are very useful in defining any type of architecture which is data flow or behavioral or structural type of architecture. Very importantly, there is a concurrent statement known as process uh, which is a group of sequential statements but process by itself is a concurrent statement. We will see about the process and the utilization of the process uh, in details later on. Another type of concurrent statements in VHDL which are uh, actually providing the programmer various features of adding conditions of or of uh, describing behavior slightly with more details. This type of assignment has one target but with multiple expressions or with multiple conditions the value can be assigned to the target. The syntax is the target is signal name and it will be assigned a value of expression 1 when condition 1 is true else. Value of expression 2 will be assigned to signal when condition 2 is true and so on. So the nature is uh, you have to give a value or the expression and a condition with the keyword when. So when the condition is true, the value will be assigned and there can be a else part when the condition is not true, the else part will be executed and hence this gives a complex when else situation. The example of it, primarily we will give one example where there are only two choices when the condition is true and the condition is false. Uh, in this architecture, C will be assigned a value 0 when this condition, which is a complex condition, A equal to 1 and B equal to 1. This is a combined or a complex expression. When this expression is true, C will be assigned a value 0. Else, when the expression is false, 
the value assigned to C will be 1. Now for all conditions when this expression is false, for example, B may be 0, A may be 0, both of them may be 0. In any other circumstances, when the condition is false, the value assigned to C will be 1. So this probably represents a NAND gate in a simple uh, expression which is using when else statement. A bit complex example of when else where we are using multiple conditions and multiple target assignments is as follows. Let us imagine a multiplexer which is a forest one multiplexer and has two input select signals. Let's assume that select 1 and select 0 are the two select signals which we have used a concatenation operation and created a 2-bit vector out of two input signals which are select. Now the when else statement which is a concurrent statement is like this. E is a target or the output of the multiplexer which will be assigned a value A which is one of the inputs of the multiplexer when the select values are 0, 0. But if they are not, then else the value assigned will be B when select values are 0, 1. Value assigned will be C when the select values are 1, 0. Value assigned will be D when the select values are 1, 1. And if none of them are prevalent, then the default condition is E will be having a value 0. This is how we have defined our multiplexer. So this is how we, have, we can write description of the multiplexer just by using one concurrent statement using when else uh, nested kind of structure. There is another type of assignment uh, statement in VHDL which is known as selective signal assignment or a with select statement. Now we have to understand the necessity or the usage of with select statement again with previous example which we saw where we have used a nested condition for when else. Whenever we are using this kind of nested condition especially for application like multiplexer what we are doing is we are first checking a condition select equal to 0. If it is true, then we are assigning value A to E. But if it is false, then only we are checking the value of the uh, select to be equal to 0, 1. So in short, we are giving condition uh, 1 as a priority 1. And if it is false, then we are checking condition 2. If it is false, then we are checking condition 3. And then, and then. So in short, the condition which we are first checking gets the more priority. But in case of multiplexer, it is not intended. It is actually one choice of many. So whenever we have to choose one out of many kind of situation, it is advisable or it is correct to use with select statement. Now what with select statement does is the syntax is as keyword with then you will give an expression. The expression will have multiple choices. And with those choices, you are going to select the value to be assigned to the target. So what you are saying is with expression select, target value will be expression 1 when the choice is the first choice, expression 2 when the choice is the second choice and so on. So like this we can enumerate all the expressions versus all the choices of the uh, conditional expression and hence all the choices can be enumerated but only one of them will be true at any instant of time and hence only one will be executed. As a result, none of the choice are getting kind of a priority and hence all of them are at par or getting equal choice. And that is why with statement is actually not having any priority and hence most appropriate to be used in application like multiplexer.
let's see the multiplex multiplexer code again with now with select statement now with the same kind of signal names now we are saying with sel is the expression or select is the expression and when it has a value 0 0 i am assigning a when it has a value 0 1 i am assigning b and 1 0 i am assigning c 1 1 i am assigning d and when none then when others i am writing and i am assigning a value 0 to a so it is the same multiplexer program which we have written but it we have written it with with select so there are three types of concurrent statements that we have seen one is a simple assignment where essentially on the left hand side of the assignment operator is either an output port or a signal and on the right hand side of the assignment operator it is expression made of input ports or signals or it can be a value directly another type of conditional assignment is using when else and selective assignment is using with select so there are three types of concurrent statements that we have seen here there is one more concurrent statement which is process which we will see after seeing the sequential statements thank you